static analysis or how to improve your quality and performance without Viagra. We're all human. We were born to make mistakes. That doesn't mean that we have to let them go undetected though, does it? Uh, that's why we employ test teams though, to pick up the errors. Yes, design errors, not simple mistakes. Tell me, do you really enjoy receiving bug reports from the test team? Or, for a really big buzz, do you count up the number of times that your mistakes have brought down a live system? So, why is it we use a spell checker for our Word documents, but we don't use static analyzers for our code? Well, there's a number of excuses that always get given. So, you don't have time to scan your code for errors? No, of course you don't if you do it manually. I mean, mobile phones have over 3 million lines of code in them, for goodness sake. If you want to print that off, it's over 15 kilometers of A4 paper. So then, you rely on somebody else to find that bug in the testing phase. Way to go. That really boosts your credibility. I mean, do you get paid bonuses on how many bugs you create? Now, we've all fixed a problem in our code, then only to find that we also wrote a similar class and forgot that that probably has the same error. How many times did you really use that Duff coding methodology? And can you find them all? These days we have complex systems written in multiple languages, talking across web services, interacting with customers via a plethora of interfaces. Yes, they're complicated. Get over it. That does not mean that that code has to be complicated too. Complicated code leads to holes in security, impossible testing conditions for the QA team, and maintainability issues for your colleagues when you leave. Have you heard of McKay complexity algorithms? Use them and kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So, you want to get better, but don't have the time to do these additional checks. The PM's on your case, the requirements are changing, and the deadline has just been brought forward again. Question. You work days, right? Well, why don't you skip sleeping and work nights? That'll double the time you can spend coding, won't it? What? You need to sleep? So, why not get someone, or rather something, else to do it for you? There's loads of tools that can check your code for you overnight and let you know what was wrong with it. And sometimes they're actually correct too. I know, I know, but you don't have time to trawl through those reports in the morning to cut through the crap, find out what's yours, prioritise it, and then find if it's actually a bug. So, imagine this. You check your code into the source control as usual. A tool checks it out as part of your overnight build process. And if you don't have one of those, then why not? The tool then checks your code against a list of coding errors that you want it to look for. Then, when it's finished, it doesn't just create a report. It generates tasks for those programmers that had issues found in the code that they changed. These tasks are then sent to the relevant developer's IDE so they can be viewed the next morning. Clicking on a task will display the code and also provide documentation describing what was wrong and how to fix it. So, all you have to do now is to fix the issues as they arise. You can't get much simpler than that, can you? So, is this all a pipe dream? Some fanciful ideal that could never work in a real development environment? Well, Cisco don't think so. They and hundreds of other companies with small and large teams are now developing better quality products and also improving their productivity. All you need to do now is to visit parasoft.com and look up the solution that's correct for you. Parasoft. We make software work.